our TV. There we go. Now we're now people can see us. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. Hello. Killer Kitty stopped in. Kalish is lurking at work. Roll high. <laughs> Side <-trick laughs> up. What up? Hey, everybody. We're still waiting on a couple people. Stragglers. It's like herding cats around here, man. I swear, every week. Yep. <clears throat> That's literally what Whip just said. Did you read what Whip just said? No, Whip did he said it's like herding cats. It, what you... it, I, I swear to God. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Why did he say this? Is that what to you? To, directly to me. Oh, I see. That's At hilarious. At 7 o'clock. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, if we got a minute, I'm going to grab myself a water. Skipper, you can see backstage, right? Yeah. Yeah, keep an eye out. I'll be right back. I'm going to check to see if right my back. mom's... TV is running because she really wanted to watch us tonight. Oh, uh, we got to be on our best watching. behavior. Man, screw that shit. Whoa. Skipper, I'm going to say that you're whipped just now so she doesn't get upset with you. I'll be back. She will never be mad at me. She gets upset with a whip then. Mm -hmm. right? Why do I feel like. Oh, I do have a Oh man, what a day, man! It's warm out today. So we got Kaylee, uh, Cody, Cody V showed up, and uh, uh, Jason, your master, showed up. Kurt is here. Oh yeah, nice. Well, so we have a few minutes here. Did Whip say he was coming? Oh, Ed's not here. Tim said he was on his way too. So I'll give him a few minutes, I guess. Yo, yo, Kurt Jaggers. Oh, man. Did Whip say he was coming? I yeah. I wonder if oh. people watching on their TVs count as viewers on... I, it must because somehow YouTube, I, I, like, you ever get that that weekly recap thing on your studio? Yeah, but I mean, I think it's counted after the fact. No, it's it, it, you because they are also what they got to be signed into their YouTube channel to do it. Well, but I mean, I it's still it's like right after all my streams, it'll say like I only had twenty five views but then after two hours then it comes up with the real number yeah yeah well I yeah that, that process it because people yeah, I come just, in at different times in your stream well i wonder if it uh has a harder time processing television television so I, I wouldn't think so yeah i was just gonna say on that weekly recap but it, it says uh it gives you like at least mine it tells me how many people are watching on a television <laughs> and then it asks, oh, asks awesome. the question like how what percentage oh, yeah, of viewers I see that yeah so I, I don't they try they can track it Hang on, man, I just realized this. yeah i get about 15 percent from the tv it's crazy that's a lot of tv people that is a lot i think i was at like eight and none of them can like you that's the worst thing is they can't hit the like button when they watch from their TV. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they can't read the chat or anything. They're literally just watching you. Hmm. Watching you. Apparently my old oh. childhood photo album got knocked on the floor by a cat. Look at this kid. Oh, no. This was nursery school, 1976. <laughs> I shouldn't even be showing you people this. Wow, <laughs> you are a sweater vest? <clears throat> it's like pictures falling out of this thing left Rock, and right. Rocking the sweater vest. I dig it. <laughs> Did you know yeah. that I refuse to wear sweater vests my whole life? And corduroy <laughs> pants. Those are the two things I don't do. Is corduroy pants and sweater vests. Huh. Dude, I like the bowl cut from hell. Here, I got to turn this back on. Oh. This is so... Jesus, I keep dropping pictures out of this thing. Where is it? Uh-oh. Green screen screwing me. Hang on. This thing's falling apart, man. Let's just toss this in the trash. 
Kaylee says she can read chat on TV. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Can you, uh, are you able to hit like buttons while you're watching the TV? Yep. Yes, you can. That's cool. My mom can't do that on her TV. I think you have to do it through the remote, and I don't think it's very intuitive. All right. You can so what you, right what you do is you get, you get a, your remote, you press the down button. <laughs> it'll all pop up. Now that's. That's a hairstyle, man. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> he put a Tupperware yeah, bowl. Hey, he put a Tupperware <laughs> bowl in your head and gave you a haircut. My mom probably. <laughs> All right, you want me to go up. grab one of mine quick? I can oh run upstairs God. and see what oh my, my mom's toners. got real fast. There's my brother and his big wheel. Where's my dog? I don't have any pictures of my brother. This is well. This is like a family photo. I don't know. Whatever. This is like a photo out my mom maybe. It's like some Christmas or something birthday maybe. Oh, I had a big wheel just like that. Yeah, those are the thing. I don't know why those ever fell out of fashion, man. Those things were the coolest. Oh yeah. Oh my god, they were great. There's me and my dog, my brother. I think mm. it's like first day of school. <laughs> we're all miserable. I miss that dog. That was a great dog. What don't happened to it? Well, you know, what happens to all dogs? They get old. They go to heaven. That's right. All what? dogs go to heaven. Did that dog, could he see? Yeah, uh, yeah. we had to, eventually at some point, when we got it, we just started trimming it. It's like the shaggy DA. Whip made it. Oh, my God. You made it, Whip. Thank God. I made it. Hey, hey Whip. I, whip. I, got, I got entangled with an adventure on Diablo 4. Uh -oh. <laughs> it was so weird, Whip. You said it's like hurting cats. Exactly when Jason said it's like hurting cats at a seven o'clock even. It was so weird. I thought that Jason was reading your comments, but then I realized that was directly to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Weird. Did Typing you go stuff. hot already? I didn't even know. Yeah, we're, we're, we're live. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Sucks with a PS controller. <laughs> controller that, oh, you're watching it with a P, uh, uh, I see, like a PlayStation. That's funny. Where's Jimmy? Oh, I've got to get my Kurt's mom like you all look like that in the 70s. I'm late, and Tim's still not here yet? Yeah, Tim's slacking hard, man. Is he, he always probably, late, though? He is always late. What is all over me? All this crap came out of this photo album. It's probably like asbestos, because it was probably made in the 70s, too. <laughs> Anyway, he said that he's lo logging in right now at 7.03. Seven minutes ago, he said he was logging in. <laughs> you forgot how to log in. But anyway, we could probably do a recap. It's been a week we missed last week. If you, uh, I know nothing. It's been keeper of the memories. Let's go. Yeah, where's the keeper of the memories? The bard, right? <laughs> it's been a month for me. Um, yes, yeah, so we were exploring the temple. We found the guy with the with the uh, helmet, got him back to the, the Duke. Grand Duke. Yeah, Duke Grand Duke. Um, got him back to uh, the temple, met with the priestess who said she can heal him, uh, but they they need a ceremony done for some sort of ritual. And so uh, they need some stuff to do the ritual so we started to go get those things my god and has it been only a two weeks because it's that, that seems like a year ago i think that's where we're at right it, yeah that's right that because we had just gone off to get what the sword or something right All right yeah what the hell just happened my green screen ain't working virtual background <laughs> I know I turned it off, but then I I'm trying to turn it back on. It ain't working. Oh. Help if I had the right notebook, I guess. It looks like a broken chair <laughs> or something. Yeah, it's like I'm in my workshop. It's uh, it's under construction. This <laughs> that way. I'm waiting for the summer. Well, I was waiting for my kid to get home from from college so he can he can address this stuff. Because he wants some of the furniture. Where? 
in the right under you. He's what rubbing up against the chair. Now you see something I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching stream yards. Oh, that's uh I think that's Tim. Yeah. Oh. That was one of Tim's other cats. That was Cora. I think that was Ant's cat. No, that's my cat. Cora. Oh, no, it looked see. black in the other image. She's a tortie. Behold her just, magnificence. Look at look at look at her. She just has that look like if I were bigger, I would freaking eat you. I would let her. I deserve it. <laughs> I have it coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh oh. You got we lost Whip. I mean we lost Skipper. No, we lost Jason. How many people? I it? all the way around the horn. Jesus. <laughs> the Horn of Africa? <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't look God at uh, where Skipper Square was, and I was, like, looking for the empty hole. I hit the wrong button, mm -hmm. but it fixed my green screen, so I guess it worked out. Yeah, so we scrubbed <laughs> the altar with holy water. Uh, we found the sword. Yeah. The sword of the unknown hero. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and you guys are ready to perform the ritual, right? Yes. All right. And by we, it was she, right? We weren't doing it, were we? I don't well, she needed your help. If uh, all right, her name is Theria, right? Theria warns that she's never done this ritual before, but she she knows what needs to be done. And that you should be ready to step in and help her, or help her if needed, or fight off any evil forces that may. Um, she knows the prayer by heart. She needs, uh, and I believe Ed was the one that chose to do this. While the prayer is being spoken, somebody has to hold the sword of the unknown hero against the helm of Torm's sight. Torm's sight. Okay. Um, got this. And the ritual is going to take, uh, you know, a minute, less than a minute, half a minute. So she will, when you're ready, she's ready. Who's our uh, okay. strongest character? Me. Probably me. Uh, probably should hold, we have to hold it against the statue? No, and it's not a statue. It's the helmet is on the guy's head. Oh, that's right. No, um, I'll let... Oh, oh no. Who'd we just lose? Tim. Timmy. Oh. Um, I, I was the strongest. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just opened up the map and, you know, you're in that temple room there. The Grand yeah, Duke no. is laying on the ground, which is still babbling nonsense. I'm holding it because I'm a ca not a Catholic. I'm a cleric. Am I on the right Which map? One can help. Hang on a sec. Wait, All that see is our token. Yeah, that's it's it. It's a huge temple. That's the yeah. only thing on the map right now is the token. I only fought twice on this map. That's how long <laughs> it's been. Mr. Manifesto. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm opening up the roll 20. Forgot about this. Got to open it on this computer. It's open over here. I honestly don't see even a token on our map, but it's okay because I know I'm in the temple. It's, it's on the here. far left. Oops. Yeah, I got to interact with the map to be able to do that. Uh, interact. Right here. -ish. So you got to zoom out and scroll to the left. Are you on the right map? Yeah, you're on the right map. Should be on the right map. High Hall Cathedral. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the map I'm on. We can get rid of this. Okay. All uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you're ready for the ritual. Okay. I'll hold the two things in my hands. 
Well, you have to hold the sword against his uh, against his, the helmet that's on the Duke's head, the helm of Torm. Oh, I I thought I was holding the the helmet. Okay, I'll hold it on against his head. Yeah, it won't come off his head. That's the issue. That's why. Oh, and I was sword. already holding the sword. Yeah, that's why you were the one that was going to perform the ritual. Okay. You actually got the sword to perform the ritual. Okay. Faria, you, you know, she, you give her the nod. She says, let's begin. And she starts reciting a, a prayer towards to uh, a bunch of things she says. Like Torm? Some incantation to Torm, yeah. Um, all right. And while you're holding that sword against his helm, make me a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw coming up now. Oh, oh. I rolled a natural 20. Well, you make it. You feel a jolt of force come over you. Um, however, you were to shake off its effects, but as that force came over you, it was like a flash in your mind that you saw. And uh, you fell at peace, and you see visions of troops in gleaming armor marching across a grassy plain with military precision flash through your mind. All right. All we need is an army. She keeps uh, whispering her prayer to Torm and make me another constitution saving throw. Uh Uh-oh. This makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. Four. Okay. (laughs) You're high or low. (laughs) Uh, Take seven points of force damage as you're shot as the jolt that comes from the the sword that's touching the helm hits you with. You know, it almost throws you back. Um, And you also see in your mind uh, massive groups of disfigured monsters loping across a blighted hellscape, tearing and screaming at, tearing at screaming enemies. All right. She says, you know, like the rituals still being performed. She's still praying, holding on to the Grand Duke while you got the sword on his helm. And make me another Constitution saving throw. Ooh, sorry, I was doing a T stop. <laughs> Sixteen. All right. You feel another jolt in your mind, but uh, you don't take any damage this time. Um. You just see, see more uh, visions, pretty much the same. The army's lining up. One of the the gleaming armor troops and one of the the fiends on a large battlefield. Okay. The ritual is almost complete, but not quite yet. So make me another constitution saving throw. Another four. (laughs) Seven more points. Well, we'll see. This time it's eight. Oh. Bam. You're hit by another wave of force. Um. So you feel the visions in your mind being warped by demonic essence. Um, You see a bloodied woman in armor wearing the colors and crest of Alturo, grasping a longsword fit for an angel. Uh, She has blood streaming from a nasty cut on her cheek. And then... uh, Freya says the ritual is almost complete. And she continues yeah. praying. 
Make me another constitution saving throw. Good lord. Come on, mama. <laughs> Three. Oh. 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 I rolled a nap. Oh. That was a one. Horrible. All right. You take another seven points of damage. <laughs> As your mind is jolted with another vision of an enormous loping demon threatening to devour the woman. She plunges the sword in the ground. Boom. And the demon was hurled back as an alabaster palace rose up around the sword. That's the vision you see. And you and the helm are thrown back to the ground. <laughs> And the helm is no longer on the Duke's head. And he immediately passes out unconscious on the floor. But his head is intact. It's yeah. not in the helmet. No, it's not. Yeah. His <laughs> head stayed on. The helmet did not. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted, Ed. Not hearing you. Oh my god, my just I mean, my ear plug fell out of the computer. No. Oh. And I couldn't hear anything of what you guys were saying. Really. Oh. Did it work? Yeah. Did you you didn't hear what happened in the last? Did you take the seven points of damage? No. When you failed your saving throw, you take another seven points I of was, damage. I was asking if I could use that. Uh, you know how you sometimes reward us by doing something really good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, and, what, is, what is that called? Inspiration. Uh, inspiration. I've never used, yeah, I've never used inspiration. Can I use inspiration to re-roll? Yeah. Absolutely. You can re-roll the die. I'll use that. Go another right constitution. Ahead. Why are we seeing another Tim's mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a total of Tim. nine. Do I still take damage on a nine? Yeah, nine doesn't save. Okay. How much damage? Seven? It was seven, yeah. And you uh, you feel another jolt of energy uh, surge in your body. And I don't know if you re heard what I said, but basically mm -hmm. uh, an enormous loping demon threatened to devour the woman. And then she plunged the sword that she had into the ground. And a... Uh, the demon was hurled back by an alabaster palace that rose up around the sword. And that's what you saw. And then you the and the helmet that was on the Duke's head were thrown to the ground. So the, and, and the Duke then fell unconscious as soon as the helmet came off his head. Okay. I'm and sorry, that's, guys. And the, the ritual is complete. You managed to save or remove the helmet from the Duke. And Tim's talking too, but I think he's muted, or he's muted on purpose. Maybe he's talking Sorry, to yeah, him. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just see, I just hear him talking, or see him talking. What's up, Daniel Blows? Hi, Daniel. I just got hurt. Hey, Daniel. <clears throat> yep. But you were uh, successful, and in... she says that we should probably. Uh, Faria says that we should probably take the Duke back to uh, the relative safety of the catacombs. He's probably ex mentally exhausted, and we can uh, speak to him when he uh, awakens. And she would be most appreciative if you were to return the sword of the unknown hero to the unknown to the to the tomb. I'm gonna heal myself real quick. Go right ahead. Oh my gosh! I just got 17 hit points. I think I had a total. Of 19 damage during that. 14 plus 8. Be 22. Oh, okay, well, I almost got them all back. Is that right? Oh, I was blessed. I was blessed, so I was over my hit points at the time. You had that right. That was 22, sir. Nice. My, my brain still functions. On Monday. My brain still functions. Oh, that's cool. occasion. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming you're going to do take the the Duke back to uh, uh, 
Holy cow, dude. <laughs> Cat takeover. You guys and your cats. No, it's more like my cats and me. It's like uh, <laughs> they own me, actually. <laughs> um, I'll ask her if there's a specific place in the catacombs where she wants us to, or recommends we take him. Well, where everybody was holed up. Okay. That's the real time. Okay, well, I'll run the uh, shield down. Or this. This spear, or the the sword into its spot. Well, you got to go past that spot anyway to get back down there. Yeah. So, it's just a matter of dropping it off. All right. Well, you get back down there. Um. About an hour later, um, the Duke. Uh, awakens. No worse for wear. Uh, he says that he can pretty much tell you what, I mean, he, you know, the story, he and his troops went down to the, the, the place to find the Helm of Torm site to help, uh, free them, free Alturo as it was like their only logical choice at the time. And he's more than willing to share what he saw, even though those visions were, he was entirely sure were warped by the demonic essences that were being channeled through it. Uh, he, tells, he tells you um, some things that Ed saw as well. Um, I'm not telling my story. In I'm his hurt. journey, he saw a bloodied woman in armor. She was wearing the clothes and crests of El Turo, and she was grasping a long sword fit for an angel. And fresh blood streamed from a nasty cut on the woman's cheek. <clears throat> um, flying next to the woman was a small golden elephant with rapidly fluttering wings. Look hey. just like Lulu. And the points is that was the creature that was in my vision. Um, an enormous loping demon threatened to devour the woman, and she plunged the sword in the ground while the winged elephant made a trumpet sound with its trunk. Uh, the demon was hurled back, and an alabaster palace rose up around the sword. Uh, the winged elephant flood, fled. The flood. <laughs> the winged elephant fled and took. Uh, to the red skies of Avernus, where it watched as a bloody scab grew up from the ground to engulf the palace and the enormous demon. Um, that was another one of his visions. And then uh, his final vision was uh, the winged elephant fled and wandered in a delirium before coming to two odd bird-like humanoids dressed in patchwork armor and standing next to a strange infernal vehicle the bird creatures were equipped with odd weapons and tools as uh the duke recounts these visions lulu remembers helping one of the hell riders plant zerial's sword in the ground and raised an impenetrable fortress around it she remembers the hell rider's name uh which was hang on that was in this other it was right here. Why it wouldn't tell me the name right there on that thing that I was searching for it in another chapter? It was kind of stupid, but you know, whatever. I bet too easy. <laughs> whatever. You just make one up. We wouldn't know. Well, that's probably important to this. Uh, Zeriel's most loyal hell rider, Yale, took the sword and plunged it into a rock. I called on every ounce of goodness in my heart to raise a shield around it, a fortress against evil. That's what Zeri or, uh, Lulu tells you. Um, bum, 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 bum. Now, uh, Ed, just the short visions that you had while uh, that ritual was being performed, you, uh, well, the Duke believes that this sword is probably key to saving El Turo, that sword that was in the vision. Uh, the Lulu agrees. And you have a very, uh, like a feel, you feel the same way, basically. You feel like that, that in your vision, that sword was a, a huge thing against the, the devils. 
Should I run and get it back? Well, he thinks that would be the best course of action, would be to go and try to find this sword. Um, Lulu also remembers something, too. She remembers she starts flapping her wings in excitement as she remembers meeting those bird folk. <coughs> Excuse me. They were called Chucka and Clonk. <laughs> uh, based on the, you know what, uh, Duke Ravenguard and Lulu can tell you what they look like. Um, you can conclude that they were Kenku, which is a bird race of people. I got to plug my headset in. Apparently, it's dying. Stinking Kinkus. Kinkus. Yeah, they're kind of like the Skeksis looking dudes, right? They poop all that. over the place. <laughs> I thought that was Skipper. <laughs> he's, he's a ranger, though. He is not housebroken. <laughs> Poor Skipper. <laughs> I was drinking. I apologize. No, you're right. <laughs> I was just making fun of you. I'm making fun of your characters, put it that way. All right, let me see if I can find a picture of a Kenku. Kenku. They steal your pizza right out of your hands and your french fries. Yeah, they look, well, that's not a very good picture. It's like a face. Look at this. Oh, yeah, that's a better one. How's that? They're basically flying were rats. Folks at home seeing this? There we go. Yeah, that's a good picture. Weird. Yeah, they're a race of bird people. Um. So, yeah. Let's see. She's like, oh, wait, Lulu's saying this. She's like, the Kenku took us to a junkyard called Fort Knucklebone, where they built and repaired infernal vehicles designed to move across the blasted wastelands of Avernus. <laughs> How many knuckles? Uh, one, a knuckle bone. <laughs> you got to use it as a system of measurement. <laughs> She doesn't remember who, who ran the fort or what other creatures were there, but she remembers the Kenku and Fort Knucklebone. She's like, wait. She goes flying up to the top of the cathedral, looks out over the blasted landscape of Avernus that's below El Turl, and then she trumpets loudly and then comes flying back down and says, I see the fort. It's no more than 10 miles away. Okay. <laughs> so after all this is revealed and you guys can uh, sit there and counsel with the Duke, older Raven guard, uh, he and he's uh, adamant that this sword is probably key. Um, yep. And that I'm, ass I'm assuming the sword is different from the sword we just used, correct? Yeah, it was uh, in the vision. It was an angelic sword. Whatever that means. It looks oh. like something an angel would be holding. <laughs> and it was plunged into the ground, and an alabaster palace rose up around it. And the okay. demon that was, or the devil, <coughs> the devil or demon? I don't remember. Uh, demon. It was a demon. And the demon uh, was hurled back as the palace rose up around the sword. And a bloody scra a scab grew up from the ground to engulf the palace and an enormous and the enormous demon. Knuckle bone. So the Duke thinks that uh, that's our best lead to get out of here to save El Turrell. Um And the city of El Turrell will be forever in your debt. as well as the Duke, <laughs> the Grand Duke, and the town of the, the city of Baldur's Gate. Because he's sure that this is all some sort of plan to plunge 
more than one world into the this abyss, or one city into this abyss. However, the Duke says that he is not going to leave El Terrell on this journey, that he will stay and gather whoever he can to protect the city with whatever survivors are left from the onslaught. Should I stay with him? He would recommend that you're probably better off seeking the sword. Okay. With Lulu and the rest. Um, All right, let's go get the sword. Rhea says that she will not leave the city either. That, you know, she was charged with uh, protecting the city. Well, what are we going to do without her help? Jeez. (laughs) What about. You're a little sarcasm there. A little sarcasm. (laughs) What what about Drago? Is that your. uh, That's That's Kenny. Kenny. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, You know, you know. He's just drunk and following you around. So, <laughs> hey guys. How, uh, the the Duke says though he's like he's not. I, I have no idea how you to get down from from here. If you remember, Alturo is like a hover flying, a uh, floating above the plane of Avernus, right? I think I might have pictures for this. But uh, it's being ha- held by chains in like the four corners. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's a picture. <clears throat> to so, keep it from sinking or to keep it from rising. To, uh, oh. to keep it from, it's dragging it into the abyss, and it's dragging it if you below. See the picture I just shared. Yeah, you can see that. Well, a little bit. It's kind of behind everybody here. Let's go there. I got it. I need to. Would it go faster if the demons and the devils weren't fighting? Well, that's the thing that's never going to happen. They're going to be fighting for all of eternity, as they always have been. <laughs> well, this might be something that if we could convince the devils and the demons to stop fighting, they could pull it down quicker. Well, it's you don't want it pulled down into the abyss. The whole idea is you want a cat, you want a free El Toro. It is being held <laughs> by these. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me read I was just, uh, if the rest of the world, it might be worth sacrificing. Jesus. There are enormous chains of infernal iron that hold El Toro on the, and they're the only physical connection between the city and the ground. Each chain link is 30 feet long and 20 feet wide and is formed of a welded loop of infernal iron that is five feet thick. Um, the chains are covered in one foot long iron barbs. So you feel like you could relatively easily move along it. Um, yeah. But that's, uh, and then they're anchored by posts, those big posts that's at the bottom there are anchoring it. And every so often, the whole entire city shakes as the chains tighten and ulteriorly it's dragged closer to the, the river sticks that it's hovering above. And then below, when you were on that bridge earlier, when you first got to El Toro, you looked down and you could see waves of demons pouring out of the river Styx onto the shores and they're being met with waves of devils fighting them back. Um, From when you were in the Candle Keep in the beginning of the adventure, before you got to Avernus, uh, you remember reading about Nine Hells. And this is the first layer. So this is the layer that uh, touches the river Styx flows through the entire nine hells and it touches all layers of the nine hells, right? These are all different like planes of existence. Okay. Um, if they however, bring this, the upper this level is the first layer. Down, would, there, would there be 10 layers if they brought down the <clears throat> No, it's just, just a city being dragged into this layer. <laughs> Oh, I think we were trying to save the world. Well, you're trying to save the city and perhaps the world as they drag other cities. The whole blood war is fought with devils and demons against each other. The devils are coming from the river sticks. They're infiltrating this plane and they're fighting the war. 
on the other side, there's the same thing happening where the devils are infiltrating the, the, the demons part of the plane and they're fighting a war. But that's on like the first level of the plane, right? Uh, I yeah. say we go to the junkyard. An internal battle happening. Well, that's what you should be doing is going to the junkyard first. Yep. Well, because Lulu said it's like right down there and you can see it and we might get more information from the Kenku. Uh, she said it's only 10 miles away. However, we got to get down. The only way mm -hmm. is to, uh, if you could fly. She's like, I can fly down. I have no problem flying down. How many people can she carry? None. She's magical. <laughs> well, can the guy, uh, the, I mean, the old lady make us have a spell of levitation or flying or something? Teleportation? She has no magic that can do that. Does Kenny fly? He might. No, he just breathes. Stuff. Kenny's too drunk to stand at the moment. So where's our wizard? <laughs> do you, uh, can we parachute down? <laughs> well, we, we might have to just climb. I, I mean, if we can climb well, down the I mean, spikes on the chains. How, you, I'm not. There's not saying you can't parachute down. You just need to figure out how you're going to do that. You need to make. You need to make parachutes. So. Oh. You need to gather some materials if that's what you want to do. Well, there's plenty of uh, <laughs> all these curtains in this temple. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely materials in the city, too, that you could suss out if you wanted to do that. You <laughs> parachute down. Yeah. <laughs> it's not without its risks. <laughs> Is there a rope? Can we get there by rope? Uh, it's you guys are pretty high, above uh the city, above the I mean above the river sticks the, the city. And, and how far down do we have to go? Down to the river? Yeah, the, well the 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 chains are held by posts along the river. Yeah, and right. The giant so posts we, that are holding these giant chains. And we have could, to get to the ground though. Yeah, you need to get to the ground and then approximately ten miles in whatever direction. Uh. Let Lulu showed you is uh here let me uh we did have a map right I'm pretty dexterous I'm, I'm just gonna climb down I think I'm not gonna trust curtains to keep me from right. falling to my death although I could slip <laughs> up there, so. Yo. so how how far down are them them chains uh let's see yeah, I mean, are they easily accessible, or are they pinned to the bottom of the city, so we have to climb down and around? Oh, no. You, I mean, you can find a way onto the chains relatively easy. It's not that hard to get to the chains. You just have to make your way to w one of them and then work your way down. Um, it would take you Does some time. Does uh, go by the chains? No. Do the chains go by the junkyard? No, the chains are just the way down, and then you have about a 10-mile journey to the junkyard. I think we're missing something, guys. There's got to be a way to get to the junkyard. Right. You just got to climb down the cha chains or parachute yeah. like you can or whatever. And then make the journey. <laughs> so, Although, you said the there's... Duke, Duke says there is, he has no other idea how to get down other than climbing the chains or figuring some way to fly down there. So, do we have a map of the town? Uh, yeah, you did. Hang on. Oh, yeah, hang on. Let me fix this map. And what kind of resistance are we going to be running into down there? I mean, are we going to be fighting the whole way out? Well, he recommends trying to avoid any part of the blood war. If you guys come, well, it's going to be hard. There's an entire wave of devils and demons fighting each other down there endlessly. So maybe you can find a break in the battle and make a break for, you know, out of the battlefield without being spotted. We gotta go into the battlefield. Yeah. Well, you gotta get through the battlefield off the well, the shores of the river are where the battle's happening. The posts that are holding the chains are on the shores of the river. <laughs> Beyond the yeah. battlefield, ten miles in the distance is Fort Knucklebone. Uh, so every post that we would climb down, there's going to be a battle next to it. It's the it's, you know. The river sticks is the one thing that goes through all the planes, I was saying. And the demons are able to use the river sticks to come into the devil's realm. 
Oh. And they're using that as a beachhead. So they're coming out of the river sticks onto the shores to fight the devil. And the devils are trying to fight them back. If two if stupid hobbits could do it, I think we can do it. <laughs> it's going to be a perilous journey, but it's no other hope for El Toro or for us, for that matter. Do you guys have any extra heal potions or anything you can aid us with? Oh, boy, I'd have to look. No, yeah, I'm asking uh, the, the Duke. The Duke says that he used everything that his men and him used everything they could in their power to reach the home of Torm site. And they didn't have much. Uh, what are we doing here, guys? So, here, all right. So, I have two left, it looks like. Do we know? Hmm. Let me find that map for you. So, do we know of... So, we're going to a junkyard, right? To go get this sword. To look well, for it, yes. You're going to the junkyard to talk to Chucka and Clonk. Because that's what Lulu remembered. Those okay. bird folk. And they might have some insight of where to go. Or what to do. Or how to get there. Or where that fort was. Where the sword is. Didn't bird people fly? Oh yeah. yeah, maybe, probably. We have to get, we have to get to them though. Have you ever? Uh... I'm thinking of something here. <laughs> oh boy. Here, let me show you a map of the city if that's what you needed. You need to see this. Show the players. We could just everyone. send the elephant, the elephant. See that? Well, I guess what I'm asking is, or what I want to comment on is if. They're down in that junkyard. How are they getting a junk? Are they getting it from the town of El Toro? Or is it just stuff from around that? Down it's, uh, you know, as far as the Duke can tell and what Lulu can tell you from her, her memories is that this entire place is, is an entire war zone that is supplied with nothing but souls and machinery. <laughs> so junk dealing is probably a pretty profitable business around here. Because resources tend to be scarce, especially with the infernal vehicles. They can yeah, definitely because what I'm saying is they could, be, they could be coming up to the surface somehow getting mm, I see what you mean, like getting out of that out of El Toro or out yeah, of uh, Avernus. Yeah, and getting up there. To Maybe get stuff. you're gonna have to talk to them to see. He has no they idea. Probably they probably scavenged can... the war fields too. So what I'm saying is in the town of El Toro, there's nothing uh, that could be like a, oh. some, some type of salvage yard or something. I'm sure that uh, that when El Toro sinks, if El Toro sinks into the into Avernus, um, there's going to be all sorts of scavenging happening in this town. But well, there's, not, there's not that currently... I think that's well. They're trying. I mean, there's there's winged devils and demons that keep flying up here, trying to like mess with the town, right? But it's still currently being dragged down. It's not at the level where a lot of everybody can access it. You know what I mean? So they make excursions up here. But and click and clack aren't uh, flying up to. Yeah, they to, haven't done anything here yet. They might even. Okay. I mean, it might just be. You know, they're if they're business people, they'll send people to do that. I'm just wondering if there's a business of anything that's in the town that could be connected to that junkyard. And get word to them, maybe? Well, I'd say we meeting? shake a tail feather and get going. Well, what are you going to do? How are you getting down? Well, what about if we send Chain. Lulu? Because Lulu can fly there, find the Kanku and bring them back, and then... Well, each way is the getting down is not without its dangers. Why uh, the would infernal the infernal chains are uh, are essentially let's put it this way. They're made of some sort of iron, not of you know, not of the world that we've ever seen. So it's dangerous journey to begin with, making your way down the chains. Uh, and God forbid anybody should see you up there and it's in attack. It's very perilous. Uh, flying down would probably attract attention too. What if we just sent Lulu? Uh, that would probably end in Lulu not 
coming back. What color is the chains? They're a dark metal. What color are the curtains in the this joint? Uh, dark red. No, a deep can blue. We, How about that? Can <laughs> we uh, like dip it in ash and like dirty them all up so it looks blends into the same color, and then we make cloaks so we kind of blend in with the chains as we go down. I see you want to discuss. Well, I mean, you could. I'm sure you could find some robes or something like that, or like gray that the acolytes have around here that could kind of keep you. Looking. We ought to do that so at least we can blend in with the chains because nobody's going to expect the people coming down the chains. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, maybe people are coming up the chains. It's a dangerous maybe. journey, man. It's still better than going up. I mean, <laughs> better than nothing. And the river Styx is fraught with dangers too. Geek boy, what's going on? Oh, what would Geek boy do? He's so smart. Uh, somebody make me a history check. I'm not gonna waste my twenty on that. Aren't you a historian? Nope. I only have a plus one in history. Mm. I have, I have no, no pluses at all. It, I will roll Maybe. it if you somebody doesn't have better than that. I'm looking at mine. I think I have it. Hold, please. Hold, please. <laughs> you're a plus two. Under, just, uh... Skipper, you're a uh, zero like me. Plus two. <laughs> I like it when you say hey, but rolling it. The bard is a plus three. Fourteen, good sir. 14 is good enough to remember that when you were in Candlekeep, you remember reading about the River Styx and that people have, that have drank or come in contact with the water of the River Styx seems to have lose all memory of themselves. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't think we should contact it then. That I will relay that to my friends. Don't drink the water. Or come in contact with it. Drink or come it. in contact with it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it looks like liquid resin. So you parachuting down? <laughs> I love that idea. Yeah. Come on now. That was awesome. I like the parachute idea. I think it's great. Right up until you get blown into the river. Well, it ain't it ain't just that. You feel it's confident great. enough that you could soar. If you parachuted just right, that you might be able to avoid the battlefield entirely. Uh, you might no. be able to hold a rope because we're not flying off. We're, or we're jumping off. Right. So we can tether ourselves to the place. The problem is that you guys are so high up. You're like 5,000 feet in the air. There's not enough rope in the town. Or that would be strong enough to hold all of you or one of you that deep, that long. I'm, well, I'm, we're gonna have, we need to climb down the chains because if you if you if you try to parachute down there and them demons have got wings or whatever they see that they can come up and attack you and cut that and you're gonna fall into your death. Yeah, I mean, the same them. thing could happen on the chains, but I'd be more confident of swinging an axe or something with one hand than you know with a parachute. That's just me. I agree. Yeah, let's just. I say, right. I think the trick is walking down the chains. We're taking the chains. Yep. Okay, you feel that it is going to be one hell of a journey. 5,000 feet, you think? Yeah, that's yep. that Each section of chain it's is all downhill. Feet right. <laughs> it's downhill. That's true. Well, you can get there real quick. You can get there in a couple seconds if you want. <laughs> We can just jump from chain to chain like a goat going down the side of a mountain. Well, that's one of the things you can take. You can make your way down uh, relatively easy, but it, you feel that it will take you uh, a long, long time. Uh, you could uh, do what Ed suggests and you know make some leaps and bounds and speed up the process. You'll make it there in, in half the time, but it's a little more fraught with danger because you know jumping around on infernal chains. Yeah, and 
our thief has terrible dexterity. That's not true. I just have terrible. On rolls. paper, you have good dexterity, but yeah. on land, yeah. you fall. <laughs> <laughs> this. Ch I Is he saying the electric unicycle? Geek boy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and hop on down. Guarantee oh, I'm no, falling no, on my no. face straight into the river. That's the thing, man. You feel like if you do fall, this is going to be a dangerous thing, man. Well, yeah. if you fall, it's like it, it's it's done. It's done. I, I assume... Based Who's on your description, first? the <laughs> the go. the chains are the 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 city is directly over the the river, correct? And then the chains go to either side. Yeah, and they're kind of just pulling it down. If you think of like so something it, like it's like trying to pull away. It doesn't <laughs> matter if if what chain we go down because it, they're all going to end up right at the river's edge. Yeah, Should, I mean you can you can pick the chain that you know like when. Lulu pointed out where Fort Knucklebone is. You can see it off in the distance, so you can take the chain that will take you in that direction. Right. So I was just that. thinking if it was offset, you know, you could take at least get the chains that are furthest away from the river, but it sounds like they're... Yeah, they're kind of all, like, along the shore. Some are closer to the river, some are less. You know what I mean? How about we uh, take a rope and we tether all of our, the rope through all of our belts, so if one falls off, hopefully the rest of us will catch that one. Just like mountain climbing. Yep. Yeah, you can perform some mountaineering. Yep. For a little safety sake, that's for sure. Yep. All right. Smart. Let's see. I think I have some silk rope here. I was gonna say, you got any of that gear? Or you might have to go in town to scavenge. The only thing I'm saying is, I hope the fat guy don't fall. I do hey. have 50 foot of silk rope. Which one okay. of us is the fat guy? Me. That's <laughs> what I was gonna say. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, 50 feet of hemp. Let's use my silk because it doesn't, it's not as rough on the skin. Okay. I, I'm just letting you know I got some it's if, if we need smooth. more. You know, what we could do is attach something heavy to your hemp rope and then swing it under the chain and then bring it around and have a loop also. So, like uh, you could have a loop around the chain, so the chain is like going through. Like we loop, loop it around the chain, so if we all fall off, we have the hemp holding us. So you're saying anchor to whip, and then you all anchor to each other. That's anchored to whip, or and then whip is anchored yeah. to the chain. <laughs> well, we could have the front. We could actually. All right. Um, if we have uh, two things of hemp rope, we could do one at the leader and one in the back. Do it. And then, so they have two loops in the front and the back, and then all the rest of us are in the middle with the silk uh, wrapping between us all. You're going to move that's, along like an inchworm across the whole place? That's not yep. a bad idea. Yep. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys can fashion that's up the rope kajiggery. Does anybody else have another thing of hemp rope? 50 foot? I have 50 foot. Like I say, I just have the silk. I do not. I don't. Sorry. Sorry. Well, uh, the Duke Raven Guard is pretty sure that he can muster up some rope for you <laughs> for your journey. Yeah, let's ask, <laughs> let's ask that guy because I ain't got nothing. He can muster up some hemp rope for you. That'd be All good. Right. Cool. It's probably some in a supply closet in the church. And I have Come some on. string. I have string too. Does everybody have Montgomery Jones a bow and arrows or crossbow? Because we don't want to be throwing javelins because you're never going to uh, get them back. I definitely I have. Get... I have a, a light crossbow. I have a bow. A little Montgomery Jones. I am quite terrible at those things. Well. You could, if even if you mess them, it would get their attention not to keep coming toward you. I gave my crossbow to somebody in our group. I oh, know I sell my light crossbow. Montgomery 
Jones. So I could give if somebody doesn't have a crossbow, I could give them my crossbow and bolts, and I'll throw spells. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is there a dexterity requirement or anything? For what? Uh, crossbow. My Which dexterity one? is eleven, and I have a plus three to hit still with it. Oh. A light crossbow. That's a, that's weird. Maybe it's strength based. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it must be. Okay, well, yeah, then I can use it. Wait a minute, is there any dragons in this town? So you get your proficiency bonus on, on your. Uh, that's why you get the plus three because you have proficiency bonus because you're proficient with it. Oh, maybe yeah. I'd be proficient too. Is I it considered a martial item? Bonus. Or plus two, or whatever your profi yeah. proficiency bonus. Is. I just, I just linked it. If, if you're talking the light crossbow, I don't know if that tells you anything though. I'm trying to read it, and I don't see much of. I mean, any range is better than no range, is what I'm trying right. to say. Right. I'll take it. I don't care. Fine with me. Okay, I'm gonna. You now have my light bringer, and my crossbow. Yep. Yeah, it says right there I that have. the light crossbow allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the attack roll. Cool. For any nice. attack that you make with it. That's cool. Is I there any Upper's light mace? Huh? You gave me your magical mace. I thought you I gave him my. Oh. No, I wasn't allowed to. Because Tim wasn't here. Oh. Okay. Is there any dragons in this town? Not that you know of. I don't know if asking a dragon to fly us down would be such a great idea anyway. Hmm. Would be if you got draconic language. Oh, yeah. We need that drunkard that's tagging along. To I have that language. Oh, you do? I can speak dragon. I can speak I... dragon, too. You guys are awesome. All I can do is talk to orcs. <laughs> That's probably more intelligent. Orcs and goblins. I can only talk to dragons. Well, I meant some big dragons. Well, I say we just start chuck trucking. All right, yep. let's do it. Yeah, might we'll as well, well get it over with. Raw hide. All right, here we if got I a hand die, out. My Mondays is, got free. This is what Duke Ravengard looks like, in case you don't know. Whoops. So, once I have the two strongest at both ends. That's not the Duke. Older Raven Guard. That looks like Bo Jackson. That's probably Bo you. Jackson. And Desmond. Yeah, definitely Boas and Desmond. Yep. It does look like Bo Jackson. It does. <laughs> I'll go on front. I don't care. That's fine with me. Go on first. Second. Sure. Um, just, I mean, I don't know how to do any of this in real life, but I am the lightest, I'm sure. So I don't know where you want me in, uh, if you want me in the your, middle somewhere in the middle. Okay. Cause no, I, I, mean, I don't know that you want me is, anchoring anything. No, we're going to have, the we'll two have heavies, we're going to have the two heavies on each end. Gotcha. They're your anchor points. And then us other people and. We'll just have uh, uh, Skip the drunken guy dangling his bait. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We should just have him run ahead of us. Yeah. Hey, Skipper, what's your strength? My strength? Yeah. 14. Plus, plus 5 okay. on saving throws. Uh, well, if it's 14... It's plus I'll five. I'll take the very back. Your strength is a 14. Your saving throw is a five. Okay. So no, I'll take I'll take though. the back spot. And then well, Skipper could be right in front of me. So we got the two strongest next two strongest in oh. the back. Tim in the front. And then uh that'll work. We'll have the thief and the the bard in the middle. Is that good? <clears throat> no. 
Yeah, because uh, Xanadu and me, uh, we neither one of us is particularly strong. <laughs> I'm a 13 and he's a 10. Especially me. Yeah. Then we'll we'll put X do right in the middle. Woohoo. We're ready to go. We're ready. Right. Sorry, the cat is like uh standing on the keyboard and stuff, so I have to give him his a love that he so desires and needs. And demands. And demands. Man, I wish I had a cat. I must I must make biscuits is what he's saying. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I miss my kitty kitty. You guys, are you you trying to make your way as quickly as possible using your safety equipment, I'm assuming? Yes. Yes, but, I mean, we're not, no shortcuts, you know. I, I, I climb for a living. You don't want to make a shortcut. Not at 5,000 feet. Well, I mean, that was a rough estimate, man. It probably was more like 2,000 feet. But. Half a mile, a mile. Half a mile. I think you're, you're yeah. just as dead. <laughs> Yeah, definitely yeah. falling is a street. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> However, yeah. parachuting, you felt like you could have you probably could have made it quite a distance out there. You would have been all right. I don't trust you when you say that. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you got you got the malicious grin. No, man, I love that idea. <laughs> yeah, I would have let you do it. I would have let you do it. Don't worry. Of course you would have. There might have been some, you know, checks you have to make on the way and make sure your equipment was up to spec. But uh, I'll fail those. You're fine. Uh huh. Yeah, you know, dramatic effect. Uh huh. Maybe a little memory wipe in here or so there, something. <laughs> Come on. Here, pushy kitty. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's going to take you, if you're not, if you're taking your sweet ass time, it's going to take you a long time to get down there. I'm assuming you're trying to make it down as quicker as possible while still maintaining some sort of safety. Yes. Can we yes. Do, like, you don't want to be dangling up there either. Come out, Blues Brother Speed. Okay. Let's see. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yep. Uh, the chains, as I described earlier, are 30 feet long and 20 feet wide. And it is formed of a welded loop of infernal iron that is five feet thick. So it's a little bit of a challenge to get down there, but not too hard. Uh, Everyone long, you know, covering all over the chains are these iron barbs that just jet out like one foot long, making them spiky. Uh, and that's kind of what you guys are making your way across. These, uh, the posts of infernal iron that anchor El Toro to the ground, uh, are, you know, quite a far way down. So you're making your way. All right, so let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. You guys are about a minute, minute and a half into the journey. And uh, let's see here. You couldn't say halfway. No. You're, you're only just begun. <laughs> and everybody make a constitution saving throw. That's, uh, let's see. Well, every, you're all in contact with the chain, so everyone. Fifteen, sir. Except for Lulu, who's flying r around you. Fifteen, sir. The saving throw DC is a ten. Let me know if you don't. Well, know. I did not save. I got it. What does that even mean? Does he impale himself on one of his spikes? Nope. But as he's gripping uh, the spike, you know, moving along, uh, he feels a coldness come out of that chain that just sucks um, the life out of him. Yo, that is what? not the rule. Holy shit. 17 points of damage. Is that come right? On. Were those D6s? Yeah. Holy shit. I rolled two that was a pretty good roll. That was a good roll. <laughs> Just making sure I wasn't rolling the wrong dice there. I don't have my glasses We're on. fucked. Pardon my French. If that's going to be the case. All right. Uh, you'll be fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Uh, those who don't save take 17. Uh, those that do save take half of that. So what would that be? Eight? Mm. Round, Round down. Up or not? Down. Round down. Eight. That'd be Eight. nice. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast <laughs> aid on the three lowest hit point people here. Okay. Um, so whoever didn't Rogue, make that save, make me another dexterity saving throw. What? <laughs> oh. You heard me? As that cold like seeps you, like let go. Oh, in shock. Son of a bitch. 11. See if you can. All right, all right. You managed to teeter there for a second and not fall, but can you grab back onto the, the chain? How many Ooh. hit points do you have, Skipper? Oh, I got 51. Oh, by the way, you guys, uh, I mean, I'm assuming you all were. I didn't mention this, but we probably should have. You should have taken. You probably had a full rest before you went. Oh yeah, most definitely. The, yes. Oh my god. I think it was implied, but you never it actually was. Said that. I'm gonna cast aid on me, uh, X2 and Whip. Okay. Thanks, boss. For ten extra remember, hit points. Remember that you have aid. You have AIDS. Skip, was it you that got the failed? That was Skip that failed, yeah. I'm going to cast Bless level 2 on him. Nice. Concentration, so it'll last as long as I keep it. What and is that? On, you get a um, any saving throw or attack roll you make, you get an extra D4 on all of it. Dennis Christensen, what's up? I'm get putting it. it on myself as get well. Dennis. Actually... I think uh, hopefully uh, he won the giveaway on my stream yesterday. Hopefully uh, I gave Keith all your info, so hopefully he got back to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Does anyone else have a low constitution? I have a... 11. I'll put it on you too. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Dun, 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 dun. Did, yeah, did you see the King Kong movie or the Godzilla Kong movie? Uh, yes, I did. And how was it? I enjoyed it. it uh, I was suck. surprised. I, I thought it was going to suck and it did not suck. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Did the monkey get his ass kicked? Mm, yes. That's all uh, I hear. I'm okay it kind of depends on which monkey you're talking about. Ah, uh, see. Any of them? Mm. But maybe they all got their asses kicked. Good. Except for Down Godzilla. With the monkey. I hope they all That's all that matters. Screw that lizard. Oh, Godzilla gets his ass whooped too. Oh, I'm sure he does. What? Front. He gets his. That's you know, kind of, he's like Hulk Hogan. He's a tub thumper, man. He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Hulk Hogan. He's never you gonna know, keep him if, down. <laughs> if Godzilla could just go, <laughs> it'd be awesome, Ooh, brother. All right. It, and so, I don't mind the pink on Godzilla either because it made sense. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I just got this. I found this. I saw this at Target and it was like a couple bucks. And they were like these little like Funko Pop looking thing. I don't even know. It's probably a knockoff, but uh, they had like. Can you see that? Oh, cool. This is, uh, <laughs> this is the Godzilla in action. This little like pink. He's got the pink spikes. <laughs> You know, and the pink cool. makes sense. Oh, it's okay. not uh, not trying to make him yeah, something I'm that sure. he's not. Did you get it at Target? Yeah, it did. That's yeah, much pink. Anyways, good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, you guys are uh, climbing down some things. Uh, you feel like if. Uh, you keep the pace that you're at, you're not going to make it to the bottom. That you might need to speed this up. Why don't we double time it? Well, how do you, how do we do that? I mean, just start moving faster. Just say I'm moving I'm gonna faster. I'm going to move faster. Okay. You start jogging. I'm moving faster. I'm going 38% faster now. Okay, everybody. <laughs> okay, you're the leader, so well, Oh, we're as, better be able to keep up. That'd be we're as fast as the door. Oh, Make a strength so check. thirty eight percent faster might be regular speed. I moved for thirty us. feet. Yeah, you, I mean you can all move. Uh, you, know, a, you can double time it. I'm a I'm an evil dwarf. I go fast. Oh, yeah. You said st strength check. Yeah, everybody make a strength check. 
I don't want to. I will. Oh, no. <laughs> That's going to be bad. Answer. Oh, no. I rolled oh one. God. I rolled one. Ooh. Fuck me in the ass. Well, maybe it's, it's either, really either really really high or super low. low. Oh, my God. The whole party's going to die. I got a two. <laughs> oh. All Let's right. Let's play to my strength and go to a dexterity. Come on, man. <laughs> you had your D4 for bless. <clears throat> did you guys bless? Yeah, did you add your D4s for bless, those that were blessed? Every check. Oh, I don't need to. I don't I think it's going to matter, but we can give it a shot. Better than not. <laughs> I think Xanadu might be the only one that's really in trouble. Well, um, Boaz, too. All right. Yeah, I do have bless, too. You should. You're a cleric. What was the marching order, by the way? It was. I was in the very back. Okay. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. Okay. Well, I'm the vanguard, sir. <laughs> there has to be only one middle, because there's five of you, right? Yeah. yeah. Xanadu is the is the exact middle, and then I'm a, I'm either above him or below him. I don't know how. You're we... below. You kind of below him. I mean, uh. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um. Are there tickets available? Tex <laughs> is the luckiest guy in the world. That oh, skipper God. is, uh, what, second? It goes Ed, myself, Whip. This is from back to front. Okay. Ed, myself, Whip, okay, so then X do, the front. and then... X, uh, yeah, and then Bo, uh, Tim. Tim. Desmond. Desmond. Yes. Okay, I just making sure. Okay, so it was... Whip rolls a three and adds it into his roll. <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right, all right. Let's see. You guys are all tethered, so that you can help each other there. Um, Whip is in the middle, middle, right? So yes. your nine will be enough to make it, so you don't fall or don't lose your grip. Slow. Um, Xanadu, just, just nothing I can help you with here. Um, you fall. Okay. Uh, bu 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 boom. It's a good thing we tied each other together. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so who's in front would be uh Desmond and Desmond and Whip. Uh, you guys can make another strength strength check. Oh wait. Save me. Save me. Oh no, I was saying, hang on a second. Oh no, never mind. That's the wrong thing I'm reading here. Okay. Yeah, make a strength check and see if you can grab him. 22. That's enough to grab him. It's because I got muscle. Nice. That's right. Strength you fall. Ah, he grabs you, puts you back on the chain. <laughs> not today. Things, I pick things up, I put them hey, down. Right, right. <laughs> Ed is in the back, so Ed was the next one. That Ed rolled uh, pretty low too, right? Four plus three is seven, seven. all together. Yeah. yeah, that's not enough. So uh, the only one close to you is Skip, right? Yeah. Yeah, Skipper's awesome. He's my friend. <laughs> Make a strength check. Jesus. See if you can. Twenty-one. No. All right. Ah, all right. Boy. You nice. grab. You grab him. Put him back on the chain. Skip. Um, I'd Guys, like everybody to know that I'm going to give Skipper an extra big hug. Skip. <laughs> Did you add your bless? I don't need to. He, he, he rolled like a 21 or something. Like that. Yeah, oh, it's, it was good enough to grab him. You need yeah. to be above what, 10? Yeah, 10 to pick yeah. him up or grab him. I, I, have that, I actually wrote this down so I could remember because there's no way of me knowing it. We're not on a map or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of looking at the sky here. Um, All right. Uh, you double time it. You make your way down a little bit further, and everybody, make me a Constitution saving throw. Son of a bitch. Okay, that's a little more acceptable. God. All right, everyone that doesn't make a ten. Uh oh, seven. <laughs> All right, you take seven. Everybody that fails to save makes it. Takes seven. Those that do take three, and those that fail get.
Give me a dexterity. Was it dexterity? Yeah. So dexterity if, we, if we made it, we take how many? Three? Three. All right. Looks like you both made it. Don't fall off. Don't slide off. As you feel cold emanating from the chains and sucks the life right out of you. That'll make no sense when we're going to the depths of hell. But I'm going to bitch. I'd rather Infernal have Infernal chains. You, f you feel it's necrotic energy that's coming off these chains. Oh. Death energy. This must be somehow the metal was forged in the pits of hell. <laughs> we better keep right. going, guys. You guys are about halfway down. Double time in it. No, Everybody... I think we're uh, we're uh, four fifths down. <laughs> okay, we can make more saving throws. That's cool. All right, <laughs> everyone, make a strength saving throw DC ten, or you slip off the chains. Thank you. Mm. Ooh, I see an eight. I ain't done yet. Had that blast? That's true. Had that blast, Desmond. <laughs> Desmond, you're looking. You said uh, it's a D4, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm safe. There you go. All right. <laughs> Xanadu, are you blessed? Uh, did I have a bless? Yes, you did. Yes. Oh, okay. Hang on. You got two. I can put out two. So. Please stand by. He's good. You're good. Stand Woohoo! Desmond is the only one that didn't make. I didn't see. All right, Bo's roll twenty. Okay. What? All right, make... Desmond. Oh, I see you rolling a four. What? Oh, that's my uh, constitution. Now I see a strength save. What? Yeah, that's the four. I think you rolled the wrong one. You don't see a second roll? Nope. I see a four. Four strength plus three. So okay. you rolled over. Sorry. I rolled it. <clears throat> it's a strength saving throw. You have to roll. That's you, you rolled the right thing, and you rolled a four. <laughs> no, he rolled a. It's a strength to see if you if you like to hang on to the. Right, chain. but I think what happened was he ro he rolled the strength when he should have done dexterity. So now he did dexterity yeah. when he was supposed to. Do... Oh shoot! Okay, should I roll again or? I have no idea. I was, I asked for a strength saving throw. You rolled. I think a four. I rolled a. <laughs> there's regular strength oh, and there's strength oh yeah yeah i see what you're talking about because that yeah. there's no yeah you're the dex roll is my strength sure. roll that's what happened which was 18 okay that's it why don't you just make a strength saving throw okay <laughs> and then we can end this confusion yeah because oh, you should have a plus six on your save throw oh no Okay, you rolled a five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good enough. You fall. Uh -oh. uh, what is it? Xanadu is right next to you, so you can make a uh, strength save to see if you can grab him. <laughs> Actually, it's Whip. Whip is right behind him. Oh, that's X right. You're right. No, dead no yeah, I thought Whip, Whip is in the dead middle. That's what I was told. Oh, we had the weakest in the middle. Yeah, that was Whip. No, it's oh, Xanadu. God. All right, I thought Whip was in the middle, but if Xanadu's in the middle, it's cool with me. Yeah, I think Ed put me in the middle. Okay. Middle. middle. Oh, you're the weakest link. Okay. Yes, I am. You're trying really <laughs> hard. All right. Well, then you got two Whip. people on either side of you. That'll work. No, wait. No, I'm in the front. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're in the front. Yeah. So, so it's Whip. Who's behind him? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm just told because Mar Xanadu's marked in the middle, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're next See? to death. <laughs> what do I got to do? I got to do the strength? Strength saving throw, yep. DC 10. Do the buddy get it? <laughs> do, I get the, do I get the blast? blast? <laughs> yeah, if yep. you're blessed, you better use it. Well, no, no. Well, no, I mean, no, you're going to no. make it either way, so you can't roll less than a one. Yeah, you're uh, good. Yeah. You managed to grab him and, say, and stop him from falling off the chain. Not that I want to tell you this, but I'd probably... Lose my concentration. AKA right. Bless is probably gone. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. 
That's up to you. It's not true. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I guess maybe when you hit took the damage, you might. Eh. It's up to you. I'll just let you know. <laughs> you can make a, a concentration check. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what I should be doing. You're right. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right. The blessed mm -hmm. fates. All right. <laughs> you need a 10 for those. Um, yeah. Since we're not in combat, though, you can just keep <laughs> keep firing them off, though, right? Or no? I can only do two of those a day. Oh. Okay. It's a, it takes spell slots, right? Yeah. Huh? Bless those, yeah. You're thinking of guidance. Yep. Um, I take uh, my bless and my and my aid spell off. I mean, I, I counted them as using up spells. Just pretend like yeah. I didn't say anything. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, dun dun dun. All right, you guys keep making your way down. I'd say you're about a. Th Two thirds of the way now. Oh boy! Okay. And uh, everybody I'm recast make a Constitution blessing saving throw again. Oh. oh wait, I'm sorry. You got to make a strength. Strength saving throw. Is that what you said? Yep. As you guys are double timing it down the chains. I got 15. I got a 19. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. Desmond rolled a nine. Or was that, no, never mind. It was a different thing. Sixteen strength. All right. Looks like everybody makes it. Uh, you keep double timing your way down the chains. And yeah, parachute's yep. really looking good now. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is. We're at the bottom. You could have saved yourself all this damage. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a minute. Speaking of that, Constitution saving throw. <laughs> for everyone, please. This is a long journey. 13. Oh, oh I got another 19. Oh, I did not make it this time. And nobody, I don't have any bless or anything on me? I, I was trying to so. reapply it, yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. You, you, you have it's aid for yeah. also. What's aid? What? Aid is plus 10 hit points, temporary. Oh, yeah, but I, that, that got used up already, so. Oh, okay, yep. I'm sorry. Roll your uh, do I, bless. Add your bless. Do I? Has our bless worn off? I guess I'll Made pass. You didn't have bless. Bless again after this. Yeah, he was keeping bless for me. Well, you both. Wait, so I don't have it? it. Oh, you can't. You do have it. Oh, we okay. made it. You made it. You guys don't. You only take three points of damage from the chains as the life is getting sucked out of you. And uh, you are now getting pretty close to the ground. You can see. Uh, I'll read this to you. Armored legions of devils encircle the enormous posts of the infernal iron that anchor El Turel to the rocky ground. Squads of demons fight ten deep in some places, hurling themselves into the devil's ranks. Most of those abyssal troops are lowly manes and dretches who die quickly in vain, in a vain attempt to drag down devils so that the stronger demons behind them can strike killing blows. The dark river cuts a path across the blasted landscape and flows directly beneath the city. Floating on the river are demonic barges being assailed by squadrons of winged devils under the command of a terrifying pit fiend wearing an eyeless helmet and clutching a battle standard. Um, that's happening pretty much right at the post that you guys are going to land at. Of course it is. It didn't matter which one we picked. Does anybody well, we have the ability here. to We're cast an illusion? Damage. You feel like if you were to just charge in there, you're good, as good as dead. So. Uh, Does anybody have cast illusion? Not me. Um... No, I've got ball bearings. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you could nobody they have nobody s spotted you yet on the chains, but you know, you feel like if you were to just well, jump down there, you're gonna be minced meat. I say we huddle down and wait till they are all looking the other way, and we run for a hiding spot towards where we have to go. 
or we just run for the place where we're supposed to go when nobody's looking. <clears throat> or um, I could, um, these are these are a mix of demons and devils, right? Yep, yes, they're fighting, they're fighting each other. Yep. Um, I would say I would take what Ed is saying is to wait for a break in the battle somewhere and try and make a break for it. Yeah. Is what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, that's an yeah, idea. And, unless the other the other thing that I was thinking is if we could cause some sort of distraction, which I think is what Ed was going with with the. Um, yeah, there's an idea too. Hold on a minute. But I don't have. I don't have any kind of press the dig digitation or any of that stuff. Uh, so neither does Drogo. So I can't say his freaking word. It's a draconic gift. Okay. T H A U M A T U R G Y. Thaumaturgy. Yeah. What oh yeah, it? yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's like a a cantrip, but it allows you to do things like uh, you can make a like a loud booming voice. Now, sound like a dragon. Uh, I believe I can read the description. So what I, I guess what I'm asking like is shine, bright shiny lights, thaumaturgy. It's a thirty foot range. Can you put that somewhere, or is it coming going to come from our spot? No, you can you can do whatever you can. It's pretty much it's pretty wide open as what you can do with it. It's uh, basically you can manifest a minor wonder, a sign of supernatural power within range. So anywhere within thirty feet, you can create one of the following magical effect. You oh, can make your voice boom up to three times as loud as normal. You can cause flames to flicker, brighten, or dim. You can cause harmless tremors in the ground. You can create an instantaneous sound that originates from a point of your choice, such as a rumble, thunder, cry of a raven, an ominous whisper, whatever the hell you want. Um, you instantly cause an unlocked door or window to fly open or slam shut, and you can alter your appearance. Alter your appearance of your eyes for one minute. I'm sorry. So Think about minor, this. Minor stuff like oh, that. Sorry. But that's not a bad idea if you created some sort of uh, instantaneous sound. But if we're on a battlefield trembles. and you can only do it 30 feet from us, think about how close 30 feet is on a football field. No, People it might just... look to where the noise is, then start looking either 30 feet to left or the right of it if they don't see anything. It's well, not a horrible know. idea. Yeah, I, I think it's okay to try to pull at least some of them off away from the base. And then we can make a run in the other direction. That's what I was thinking. If you put it off to the left, say we're running right, they're all going to look left. Yep. And they're going to focus on it and probably want to go over and see what it is. You can put a, the cry of a raven. That's really going to get their attention. Well, you could do whatever you wanted. You can make a cry of a baby. That would probably get their attention even yeah. more. <laughs> screaming baby. Yeah, you could we could the do baby. That. So are we at the bottom or what what are we at? You're close enough that you could I mean they have you haven't been spotted, or if they have spotted you, they're not concerned with you at the moment because they're clearly being overwhelmed with demons or devils. The devils don't even care or the demons don't even care about you guys. They're trying to get onto the shores. So they're not worried about people climbing down chains, they're worried about the droves of devils in front of them. The devils, however, have you know the home ground, the home court advantage, I guess. <laughs> well, so if it's only a duration of one minute, do we have, if we throw that to the left, since we're going to the right to go to that junkyard? Yeah. Is that enough time to get down and pass? Uh, you feel like if you timed it just enough, you could probably all leap off and make a run for it. If you got closer, you know. Well, I'm I'm thinking that we should probably try that. Yeah. Are you great? I'm well, really fast too, so. I mean, you guys could do multiple. What was uh? Somebody else said something too. Uh, press the digitation. Was just... Wasn't that? Or you don't have it. That's Coro. Coro was asking. Question. I can't see either one of those words. What's up, Coral? 
Yeah, uh, they are very similar, but I believe press the digitation is a little more of like, uh, you know, like kitchen table magic. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, I'll make the rabbit appear out of a hat kind of shit. Well, I say it's what we do. We end, Maybe we like get a, flashes we get a of light. Yeah. Any other ideas? No. All right. Um, not that's not, not nothing that we have is big enough to distract an entire army. So. Well, if you you feel like what Ed said, wait for a break in the battle somewhere. You can make a baby cry, and then you can all make a you know run for the hills. So over in the area run where. To the <laughs> Over in the area where Skipper is going to do his uh, magic stuff, um, is there any kind of like, because I've got Mage Hand, is there anything that I can get the Mage Hand to interact with to add to the disruption that's going on over there? Like um, some piece of ballista or... Um, yeah, um, yeah, there's some wreckage in the battleground that you can probably use to your advantage to create more of a distraction over that way okay i'm gonna do that yeah can't hurt have it drop it on the hel the uh, uh, helmet guy <laughs> may chance it shows up as like a hand like a disembodied hand right so that alone is distracting you just yep. direct it to go wherever you want yeah so so maybe maybe i'll i'll because it's 30 feet as well so when skipper does the baby i'll put the mage hand and and just do a little arrow pointing down <laughs> somewhere. Right here. Over here, dummy. Over here. here. <laughs> Over here. Dummy. Over Over here. here. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. You feel like that, you know, you might have at least somewhat of a chance getting off this post and into away from the battlefield. Well, we um, just need the chance. Yep. All we need. You might you might have to make a you know a stealth check or something to yep. get out unscathed, but all right. Is that what you're doing? That's the plan. Yep. That's good. All right. It's the best plan we got. Let me uh, check something out real quick. I believe there was some description on how that works. Yes. Dun, ba, dun, bum, ba, dun. Okay. For your life. Skipper, you're casting your thaumaturgy. Oh, and that was the other the question. What's the difference between thaumaturgy and prestidigitation? I believe prestidigitation is an illusion, whereas thaumaturgy, uh, you're actually changing. So you're interacting with something like you're causing the lights to brighten or dim. You're creating a booming voice. Shaking um, the earth. You're changing your eye colors. You're making a sound. You know what I mean? It's like a as opposed to flashes of light and yeah. sleight of hand kind of stuff. Anyway. Well, you go, of course, okay. Now you know the difference. Yeah, I think though that's at least my how I interpret it in my mind. So that's probably entirely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. All right. As you uh you do your baby crying off in the distance as far as you can, around a rock or under some rubble, you know what I mean? To kind of make them look, to, to, you know, a bunch of them do break off and start looking for it. Um, Santa, do you cast your mage hand to kind of like over know, here, throw some rocks or throw some stuff around down there and yeah, yep. create another distraction? However, you notice that your mage hand is different. Uh, it is no longer a, just a disembodied hand. It is now a hand. It is shaped like a claw. Mm. You're like, hmm, that was never like that before. Hmm. Okay. Well, you guys create your distraction, and uh, why don't somebody give me a party stealth roll at advantage? Because they were. Why don't we have whip do that? That's me. That's my gig. <sighs> okay. At advantage, That's my gig, and I'm gonna smoke sure. it. Yeah, it is. It's a well thought out plan. Multiple angles here. And we do all have cloaks on, dark cloaks, so don't forget about that. That's right. You were disguised to begin with. 23. Yep. All right. Boom. Skip rolled the same thing. Come on. 
<laughs> well, you did it with advantage, so it'd be 26. Wow, Skipper. Good job, dude. All right. You can make uh, you make a break for that out of the battlefield. Make a beeline. And uh, you don't draw the attention of any uh, devils that are uh, guarding the battlefield. Sweet. You avoid uh, the one that was wearing the helm, that the eyeless helm in the battle standard. He looked particularly rough, like he was in charge of uh, <laughs> some legion. All right. Now you're in the hellscape that is Avernus. Let me uh, read this to you. Okay. All right, Avernus sits under a hideous cloud that obscures the vault of a sky. Um, the occasional meteor streaks before crashing into the ground. There is an ambient light that continually swells up from just below the horizon as though lit by the nine setting suns, yet no actual celestial bodies fill the sky. No sun, moons, or stars. The constant twilight makes it difficult for Denizen and Avernus to track the passage of time. That's what you need to know. That. The atmosphere reeks of brimstone and burning tar, and hot gusts of wind shriek across the hillscape to scour the land below. Um, occasionally, there is an immense sandstorm that whips up that feels like if it got real bad, it could probably strip flesh from bone and plunge everything into darkness. Uh, there's also biting flies and hell wasps and blood sucking sturges that patrol the air. Looking for something There's that's nothing beyond. nice about this place. Why would like anything off in the distance, like way in the distance, you can see swarms of them that grow so black, they so large that they blacken the sky. Uh, occasionally, you saw you see wandering bands of nupper. What the hell, nuppery boss? What the hell is this? Blind, bloated castaways of the damned, moving in thousands like. Living lakes of groaning flesh. Bone Say fields are everywhere. Those. Quicksand and bubbling tar. Lakes of lava. You see canyons and hear wailing souls and salt flats made from the tears of the damned that Jeez. have washed I get <laughs> along those who wandered the hellscape. Thinking about retiring And here. through the whole place uh, wanders the river. Uh, it seems to meander this way and that, and looks like it might constantly be changing where its banks are. So in mapping it in this place, you can tell it would almost be an impossibility. Um, it is going to take you a 10 mile trek to get to Fort Knucklebone through this hellscape. Um... The journey is long and hard, and uh, you had some supplies, but it's only uh, 10 miles, so it's not undoable. It takes you, I don't know, half a day. Actually, probably more of like an entire day because of how, you know, horrible the, tr the journey is and how hard it is, avoiding lava and whatever. But you make it to the gates of Fort Knucklebone. And uh, you guys feel more experienced. Woohoo! You are now level seven. Hey, hey! Oh my God. Sweet. Boy, if we just walk around hell, we could get to level 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, did, you guys completed quite a lot of line there. So. If, if you can walk around hell and survive <laughs> for 100 yeah, years, so you can get to 100th level. You found the oh. Grand Duke. You performed the ritual to remove his helm. You made it off the city of Avernus through the hellscape of Avernus to Fort Knucklebone. So. And we did it all along dragging a drunk down the thing. It's yep. same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should have just let him drop. Damn it, Kimmy! <laughs> Should have used him to test the parachute. Yeah. <laughs> that have been so wrong by the way it says in the i'm going to read this in the adventure here it says if they come up with some sort of creative way to get down like parachuting or hot air balloons you should you know let them make the appropriate checks to see if they can fashion the materials and then uh you know they should be able to do it <laughs> oh man 
See, so well, it would have worked. <laughs> I don't I don't care. I didn't trust you. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined us flying down there and something coming and putting a hole through. Oh yeah, there would have been something coming up to meet you, that's for sure. See, or there would have been uh, equipment checks, but you know, it would have been it would have been fun. Yeah, I like the idea that Chris brought up the flying demons. Yeah. Maybe not. Well, we did a really good job walking down that hell of a hole. Oh, yeah. Train. I got a question. Since we got to the gates, is there any way we could take a rest? Benjamin <laughs> Peters. Uh, yeah, well, we will deal with the whole resting thing once you get inside Fort Knucklebone. Uh, yep. I guess probably next time because... Yeah, it's 10 till and we got to level up, so... Yep, I would say uh, just level up. Oh, I gotta remember how to do that. Do we so want to... Is anybody uh, going to change here, I'll the read list? The, I'll read you the description, all right? Uh, a fort compound sits atop a low plateau that rises out of a crater-pocked landscape. At the center of the compound is a hill of rust-colored stone that resembles a hand clawing out of the ground with gaps between the fingers. A jagged wall made of rock, bones, and metal debris surround this hand-shaped hill. Other highlights visible from this distance include a gatehouse atop of which sets a half dozen small figures on watch. That's what you see in the distance, but you guys can kind of rest out here while you level up. What? Mm -hmm. Well, is it okay if I do a long rest so I can get rid of my temporary hit points? We're going to be doing one anyways. Essentially, when we come back, we start talking to whatever we already did a long rest. Okay. Well, we can get you in the horse. All right. Uh, like I said, you see the gatehouse uh, or whatever the guard figures and watch. If you would like to approach the gatehouse. Yep. You see uh, six red caps and guard on top. One of the red caps drills down as you approach. What's the password? I think we send I think we send Lulu up. She's been here before. She knows these people, right? After a few moments, a different red cap says, We don't have a password, and they all fall on the ground laughing. Is this Tweedle is this Tweedledee and Tweedledum? <laughs> the guards stand up. All right, all right, you. You that just said Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Stand on one leg. We'll let you in. Done. They all start laughing. <laughs> then there's a middle finger with it too. <laughs> One of the red caps says, "Quit standing around like idiots and come inside already." <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Ed. <laughs> all right, that's where we'll leave that. You guys can level, and we'll pick up uh, what happens at Knucklebone next time. I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, changes in my character. Oh, I just found a big one for mine. I'm going to ask this question once we're done. Okay. You can ask it. I mean, unless it's like some sort of private question, you know what? <laughs> I don't understand it, so I figure I'll wait well, to it. I see. I see. All right. Well, I mean... We're going to leave it here, so I guess we can end a couple minutes early. Unless anybody has any pressing uh, game business. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. Monster Fish Gals here. Benjamin Peters, what's going on? Hi, guys. All right. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for coming. We will uh, we'll pick thanks, it up. Thanks, next... everybody. Same time. Right. Same place. See ya. Boom, boom. Bye. Baby. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> cut us all off early. Okay.